Welcome back, guys. It's Priest coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today, we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 323 in a row. So, without further ado, let's get right into the game, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. I hope you guys are all having a great old day. Today, we start off with Larynx Stapler. Uh, the trinket's called Keeper's Bargain. 50% chance of devil deals costing coins instead of hearts. Pretty hype. We start off with 5 damage, which is crazy. Above average damage. Below average tier 8. This will be interesting. I really like Larynx as an item. And I really like Play-Doh Cookie Dough. Okay. And one thing that's nice about Larynx, you can actually break rocks with it. You can break into secret rooms with it. You can do a lot of nice things with it that make your run a little bit easier. Every time you take damage, it also gets charged. It has its own habit effect. As you see... We can just force our way all over the place. It's pretty much a, like, it's one of the most universally good items. It's very, it's like a Swiss Army knife. It can do a lot of things very easily. I don't know if you can break into the secret room with just one charge. I don't know how most of this works. But I feel like this is going to be a good run. The seed is JQ9VJR2Q. And this is going to be great. I don't care about you. I feel like the secret room is going to be right here and look we can walk into the secret rooms it's super crazy i actually didn't know you could break rocks and stuff with only one charge i knew you could break rocks and stuff like multiple rocks when you got charged up but that's pretty sick um but yeah you guys might be wondering why there was no video yesterday and let me tell you it's been it's been a struggle it's been a, a little bit of a struggle these past couple days um so carly finally got all of her stuff to build a computer and it is just bit it, it, we were we were building it the past couple days Things were going a little bit wrong. Some stuff was happening. Um, it's really hard as somebody who knows how to build a computer. And um, it's, it's hard to like help somebody build a computer and, and make sure that they know that they're not going to break it if they do certain things. Like she was trying to put the graphics card in and she was like, I feel like I'm going to break it. There's like a little bit of resistance. And it just turned out like she just needed to like push it in a little harder. Uh, and that's kind of like a lot of stuff on the computer. It's really weird how hard you have to push like the RAM and some of that stuff to... Um, to actually get it slotted correctly but then she got the stuff done uh some things just took time we started at like 11 p.m on tuesday we stayed up for a few hours doing it uh we got to the point where the graphics card was in the cpu was in the radiator um bracket was put on and the ram was in like everything was in other than the radiator wasn't on with the fans and that stuff wasn't on so we still had to do that the next day and that was our first stopping point so gpu is on cpu is in the radiator bracket was on the back, the RAM was in, the M.2s were in, uh, and a lot of stuff was just getting ready to go. We had not plugged in any wires yet, there's no PSU in there yet, um, just, just those things. And so it took us a while to get those done, just because there were some issues with like the standoffs that were in the case, um, not being super tight when she first put the motherboard in, so then she had to take the motherboard off, tighten all of those, um, re-put the motherboard back in. And installing the gigabyte anti-sag bracket just doesn't work on some motherboards because it doesn't have enough space so you put that in and it wasn't it was it was a whole it was a whole catastrophe for that um but it was it was good it was a fun time i really i really enjoyed my time we woke up the next day and i had to help my parents move a bunch of stuff because we're moving in a couple months to tennessee so we had to move a bunch of stuff into this big rental truck. It's like a 26 foot long rental truck, whatever, 16. I don't know what the big ones are, like what the length is. What's my dog's barking? Um, do I want to find the secret room? I feel like I, or the super secret room. I feel like I do. And what's in the shop? Let's go check out. Uh, but yeah, so we woke up, we worked on it for a decent amount of time. Um, and we're just trying to get, like get the PSU in and get like the last of like to get the radiator on that was the big thing we did in the morning was get the radiator on because the radiator was not on yet so we put the radiator on that took some time to get all the fans in to get that on to make sure it was like where she wanted it uh to get all the fans plugged in um and once we got done with that i had to go down and help or i had to go up and help my parents load the truck because there's a bunch of heavy stuff and so my dad needed me to come help him lift it because you know i'm kind of the muscle around here not actually but um it was too heavy for just him and my mom to carry so i had to go help them out so we got that done and then once i went back i started helping carly plug the psu stuff in uh get that all ready um then we once the the power supply was in then we plugged in all the cables from the case to the motherboard we plugged in all like the uh corsair commander like cores the all the fan hubs we plugged all of those in we just got everything plugged in and all like the stuff ready 
Um, and so all that was left was turning it on, making sure it actually turned on, powered on, and displayed BIOS or whatever it was the very first time. And it it was weird because when we first turned it on uh, the very first time, it, you have to go through post, which is like the testing that happens the very first time you turn the computer on. And so it can take some time, but um, when it, whenever she plugged it in, she was switching it around like display ports and like none of them were working at first. And I was like, okay, you might just need to wait some time. Um, but then we would like turn it off, turn it back on. She like rechecked all the connections. It finally displayed after like just sitting there for like 45 seconds. I'm like, so yeah, we just have to wait a little bit sometimes. Um, and so we got into that and it was, it was sick. We finally got that turned on. So then we finally like made sure to get everything cable, cable managed, um, get everything secured, get all the fans plugged in and ready, get the last of the fans plugged in. Uh, cause whenever I had her order the stuff, um, I'm not, a, I don't know a lot about fans. I, I really don't know a lot about fans. So she ordered the Corsair H150i Elite Capelex uh, cooler. It's a three fan. 360 millimeter uh, radiator that goes to the nice pump and so what I didn't know is that the fans that came with that were the MP 120s which are these magnetic bearing ones that have like reduced noise and like they're good with static pressure and they're like the best fans um, but the ones that come with the radiator you actually can't buy and so I thought the ones that I bought with hers which were the the SP 120s I thought they were the same thing and it turns out the SP 120s are just like the world's ugliest fan and just like the worst of all the Corsair fans, from what I understood. So then um, I was like, listen, Carly, I think, uh, just so you know, I'm pretty sure I had you buy like some fans that weren't as good. And I realized that they're not the ones, cause I thought they matched the radiator. I was trying to make sure that the fans matched the radiator and I only had to buy three extra fans, which she really needs a total of like nine fans in her case. Cause she has a Lee and Lee um, 011 dynamic Evo case. And so I had her, I had like I was like, hey, if you want to, you can buy these other fans. I was like, you can buy the LL 120s, um, which the other fans you can get are the LL 120s and the QL 120s. The QL 120s were more expensive, and the, they said that they're kind of like as like general consensus seemed like they were just kind of as good as each other, and not like that big of a difference. So we're like, yeah, we'll just stick with those. So she ordered seven of those because we wanted to make sure she had three on the radiator, three on the back, three on the bottom, and one in the back blowing over the um, the motherboard that she would have like just everything and so we got the three fans that she bought that weren't the re correct fans uh plugged in still just because you want to make sure that everything is plugged in or you want to make sure there is like actual cooling and good cooling so i i made sure she had good cooling um and so she's gonna return those at some point because there's not what she needs they're not that good of fans so i didn't want her to like have to have those with a really nice setup um if you guys haven't been along for this this whole journey uh the computer that she built is a 4070 ti with a i9 12900ks 64 gigabytes of ram it's on a asus rg strix z790-a and she's using the gigabyte arrow 4070 ti and i've heard some a lot of reviews um saying that the 4070 ti is like not worth it whatsoever and I made a video, one of my like first videos I ever made and like one of, one of the, yeah, one of like my first videos was called why the 3060 is better than the 2080 Ti. And it was, it was not an actual like video saying that they're better than one another, but it just, it was really just something showing how good the 3060s were and how like crazy the jump from the 20 series to the 30 series was. Also, I will take you and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go for angel deals because I have no clue. What's gonna be in that devil deal? Okay, I don't like that gargly noise. I'm gonna go buy what's in the shop just to risk it a little bit. I feel like it's gonna be good. And it is really good actually, nice. Um, But whenever I made that video, there's three basic components pretty much to graphics card. There is the processing unit, which is the actual main like th like hub of the GPU that has all the cores. That's what processes all the graphics. And then that information is sent to the RAM. The RAM is what displays everything and that's what stores what can be displayed on your monitor. And that would dic what dictates if you can run like 4K at like high Hertz and like how much you can actually display at once. So a really good card that has like 24 gigabytes, like a crazy amount of VRAM, it's not gonna be like bottlenecked based off of what monitor you have. You can pretty much use whatever monitor at like whatever Hertz pretty much. So you can use like a 4K monitor at 
240 hertz and be pretty fine. So there's there's the processing unit, there's the RAM, right? The way that the information goes from the processor to the RAM is via the 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 memory bus, the memory some the memory bandwidth bus, the memory bus. What I don't forget what it's called exactly. I was and so it's measured in bits. And so basically, each module of RAM on a graphics card can hold like 32 bits of information, right? And so on a on a 4070 Ti, there is 12 gigabytes of a VRAM. And I think it's like something like each one of those can use 32 bits of information. And so you have 12 gigabytes times 32, which is like 320 something. And you can have over 320 bits at a time. What is it? Like 340, whatever. I'm not doing the math right now. It's like 340 bits maximum that you can have output it at once. Now, the issue is, is that you only have a band, a memory bus of 192 bit, which means you can't actually display the max potential of all your RAM pretty much. I need to stop taking these dumb items. Okay, this is fine. There is a... Is that not a tinted rock? I don't know what just happened. So basically the way you have to think of the memory bandwidth is like a highway, right? If you have an eight lane highway, a lot more cars can drive down the highway than if you have a four lane highway. And so, and so basically it's like the highway goes to a parking garage. If you have a 16 lane highway with a 1600 car parking garage, you can get a lot of cars into that parking garage pretty efficiently. Now, if you have a two lane highway going to that 1600 car garage, guess what? You can't really put cars into it that efficiently. And so lots of people don't like the 4070 Ti because it has the Ti, which is like their Titan. Um, they're like higher level cards. They have the Ti and those usually have like 300 and something uh, bits of memory bandwidth, which means that it can actually display everything. But for some reason, a card that is $800 only has 192 bit bandwidth which is very low compared to other 4070 ti cards and that kind of stuff now other 4070 ti's i think the last 3070 ti or whatever it was only had like it had less ram than the 4070 ti and so it's kind of backwards it had a bigger uh, memory bandwidth yet it had less ram so it's like they had a 16 lane highway going into a two car garage compared to this one which is a two lane highway going to a 1600 car garage i know that's a pretty big leap from one car to the other that's like that's pretty much what it's like and so lots of people don't like it but this is what people have, people don't i don't know lots of people who review these products are people who are like who have the means to buy whatever they want right they have the means and they're like why would you buy the 4070 ti when it's only 300 dollars more for a 4080 and you're gonna like not be able to run your 4k 240 hertz like games well, the thing is, the common public is not going to run a 240 hertz 4K monitor at maximum settings. Like, that's not something that is going to happen. And so, like, the 4070 Ti for somebody who only has a 170 hertz 1440p monitor is going to be fine. And it's just dumb. I was thinking about it. I'm like, it's dumb how these reviewers are like, yeah, the 4070 Ti is garbage because the 4080 is better. Well, I mean, yeah, the 4080 has a lot more RAM, a lot more memory bandwidth, a lot more processing core, and like, it. It's a lot better, sure. But like, three hundred dollars is a lot of money. Like, it really, it really is for somebody who works. Like, that's right there is, like, I don't know. If you make, I make fifteen dollars an hour, right? I'm a math tutor. I have to work twenty hours to be able to pay that three hundred dollar difference, right? That's crazy. So that's a, it's it's quite a big difference. Now these reviewers who can pretty much get whatever they want whenever they want it sure they can have the nicest monitors ever that cost you literally like a whole entire organ and so they can complain about it because like lots of people like a 4k monitor with like high like high refresh rate is like dumbly expensive like the 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 price increase from a 4k monitor with like high hertz to a from a one or 1440p monitor with high hertz is insane and so, I don't know, it's just dumb. I, I just don't like the people who are like, well, you can't like completely optimally run like every single little thing with, with this kind of stuff. Who, like, I don't know. It's like, who's running like the most optimal stuff at all times? It's just crazy. Anyway, Sanguindo Bondo, you'll come with us. I have no clue how much health we have. We're at, we are not struggling, but I'm scared for my life a little bit. And should I do the Mirror Realm? 
I guess I will. But yeah, it's... It's all weird. I don't know. I, I just don't like reviewers. Because whenever I was I was looking that up while Carly was building it, because I just had spare time, and I saw that some people were like had bad reviews about it. And it's just like... It's the cheapest of the 4070 cards. Or the, four, the 40 series cards. Like, and it's still an $800 card. That's what people's complaint was, was why is it that you're paying like $800, $900 for a card that doesn't even have like as high of like a bandwidth as like some of these older cards that were like $100 cheaper, which is true. It's dumb that they did this, but it's not like it's going to, it doesn't impact the performance that much. And a, what a lot of people were saying was like, why not just buy the 4080 when it has 21% like better, like more cores, 21% like more bandwidth and more performance, like all of this. It's like, because it's 33% more. Why would you pay 33% more for 21% more performance? And like the actual price per what you're buying is just, I mean, not great either way. But it's just all that. I know some of you guys don't care about computers and lots of the stuff I might have said was either wrong or just went over your head. But that's the, that's the nature of everything. But we got it all done. We got it all installed. The only issue is she's running Windows 11, which that's not the issue. The issue is that for some reason, Valorant has been, has a known issue where it just doesn't like working with uh, Windows 11. Um, and so it, I forgot that I was in Lost Warm. It has this issue where it says, oh, your TPN 2.0, which is some sort of like safe, secure boot option uh, is not on. Therefore, you can't run like the anti-cheat system with Valorant. And the thing is, is a lot of computers now have this secure like safe boot that like allows you to use vanguard already on yet vanguard still says oh you can't do this which is unfortunate and so we've been we were trying to figure that out last night as well um but everything was installed i had to uh run dying light 2 i because we're like we're gonna play that at some point so i had to buy dying light 2 um and so i had her running it at the max settings with ray tracing and it like it did not even stutter a single time. It is crazy. It is so crazy. And it just goes back to the point of like, you don't have to have like the best of the best stuff because our graphics card technology is so good that even like the cheaper of them is still going to be super, super good. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's wild. So we got it done. It looks really, really good. Um, we're excited for the fans to come in so she can actually like have it all actually set up. Um, because I got her to get the LL, um, the LL 120 Corsair fans, which are these cool fans that have like a, a light ring around the outside. And the ones that she has now are kind of just gross. They just look weird. This is the most disappointing set of items I think I've ever seen. I'll take Guppy's collar, but I am not happy about it. Okay. Uh, I would try to take Humble Bundle, but I'm lazy. Maybe I can get more money. But yeah, the, the whole build, we didn't end up finishing it till like yesterday, like super, super late. You know what? I'm just doing this. I want Humble Bundle because this this is going to pay itself back quick. You guys are probably like, how did you just do that flawlessly? I know. I'm kind of, kind of a legend. I was actually kind of surprised I didn't step on the spikes at all. I was kind of just sending it like, eh, if it happens, it happens. But yeah, it ended up taking us like, I don't know. 14, 15, 16 hours in total, which whenever it's your first time building a computer and you don't know a lot about computers, it is a very, very daunting and confusing task. You don't want to mess anything up. You don't want to break anything. You want to double check everything and you don't want to like hurt any of the stuff you just paid thousands of dollars for. So, you know, like I understood. I understood why she was stressed the entire time, but I was like, listen, there's no reason to be stressed. Like, we're being extra cautious, so we're going to make sure you don't do anything. If there's something that can go wrong, I will let you know if it can and how it could so you don't have to worry about it. And, like, a lot of stuff is just weird with computers to where you have to put, like, a lot more force into it than you would expect. A lot of stuff just doesn't seem quite right at first. I don't know. And I've, every time I've built a computer, which I've... I built my first computer, um, like, back in... I don't know... 2015 or something like that um and when i did that it was like an i had like a 9070 an i5 like i don't even know it was probably like seventh gen or something i don't even know what 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 card it was it was like a thousand dollar computer like dirt cheap like 16 gigabytes of ram that was crazy um just the only thing that i could convince my parents to let me like combo wombo christmas my birthday and like 
paid the money to, <laughs> to let me get a computer. And when I did that computer, it wasn't, it took me a while to build. I had my friend Damien come over and it probably took us a night to build, which is, is not too bad. Then when I helped my brother build his computer with his friend who actually was good at building computers, it was like, it didn't take us much time at all. It still took us a few hours because to get everything set up and like once you run, if you run into any errors, like just trying to install windows and oh, like turning it on for the first time, like stuff happens. Uh, I'm taking this. No, I'm glad I, took, I almost took the mystery item, which I would have been really sad about. Um, then my second, com the third computer I ever built was the one I have now, which is a 2080 Super with an i9-9900K, um, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I don't know what else you really have. I'm trying to think. It's like a gigabyte Aurora Master, something like that. This is 970 LGA 1151 socket type. I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. Um, but... It is, whenever I built that one, it was like, it wasn't that bad. Oh my gosh. It wasn't that bad, but we ran into these weird issues to where, um, when, when we first turned it on, it turned on and it turned right back off. It like made a, it like made a click sound, like the, like the, uh, power supply actually like turned on. That was good. And then turned back off. And we worked with it. We messed with it. We messed with it. We replugged in wires. We did, we did all that. Um, and we were, we were confused. We like reset the CMOS. We did all this. We tried it again, um, and it turned on, it turned off, it turned on, it turned off, and like it had some errors that displayed, and we were trying to fix it. And we worked on it for a little bit longer, and then you're out of here. We worked on it for a bit longer, and then finally it just it finally turned on after we were like I think that's when we reset the CMOS or whatever, and like we just did everything we could possibly find on the internet to do, and it finally turned on, and we were able to like install everything. But to this day, every time that I fully power it down, like the power supply, I turn that off as well. It will turn on, turn off, or every time I turn it back on for the first time and like give it power, it will turn on, turn off really quick. Then it will turn on a little bit longer, turn back off. Then it'll turn on for even longer, turn back off. Then it'll finally turn on. And it always does that every single time. And I mean, it turns on, it works perfectly fine. I've never had like any real issues with it. And so I just kind of like let it let it be. I'm like, <laughs> that's fine. Now, I, I think it's probably an issue with my motherboard or my power supply. But it might also be I just simply have to like replace like the CMOS battery. I don't even know. I don't even know. But all that to say, the weirdest thing about the whole Carly computer is the easiest part about all of it was actually like turning it on for the first time and s installing windows like that went flawlessly like not even a single issue happened now i did make sure that we did it very very carefully we made sure every single quarter is plugged in and then so many like so many times in the past um i've like i don't remember if it was me it was my brother and i when we were building his computer which we built after my current one um we like forgot to plug in like the cpu into like the, the cpu port at the top of the motherboard we forgot to plug the power supply into that so when we turned it on the first time, nothing happened. Like the, it turned on, there's stuff, but there's never a display. Like nothing at all. Or like, dang, I wonder what's wrong with this. And so, go to Funk. If your CPU doesn't have power, your computer doesn't run. So, like, there's always something that goes wrong. But everything that went wrong was usually at the parts that it shouldn't have really gone wrong. Not nothing that really went wrong for us. But like the, the parts that took the longest were really took. Or the parts that should have taken the shortest took the longest. The parts that should have taken the longest were like the shortest, which I'm glad it's kind of how it went. If it, that's it's not too bad when it's like that. Uh, did I already go to the shop? I did. But yeah, but it was fun and it's working now. Um, seeing like seeing Dying Light with that kind of like with those graphics and everything, it's crazy. It's it's so crazy how far we've come with like graphics cards and all of that so i'm very happy she's very happy the world. and games are going to be played but valorant still can't open so we're going to try to figure that out because valorant's the main game that all of our friends and all of our friends play and then we play it's going to be good but now we go fight a boss and i know some people don't care about computers sorry i went on for so long but hey we talked about what we got to talk about but other in other news, today I had work. Work was great. Um, 
I, my Tuesdays and Thursdays have been awesome because we usually have a lot of the same people on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or at least I have a lot of the same students on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so I'm about to get hit. Yeah. That was dumb on my part. Um, most of my students are one and a half hour long sessions. And what's really nice about that is that means like I only have like seven students in total. Sometimes I have like a combination of like five hour and a half long students and then a couple more like hour long students. And so it goes by so quick because the higher level students, their math's like more complicated. And so it's not like I'm sitting there watching a third grader do simple addition and I have to help them with that, which I don't mind doing that. I don't mind helping students with that because that's my job. But it's just a little bit more interesting to like be working on like simplifying rational equations and that kind of stuff because I can actually sit there and do it myself and it's, it's it's a it's pretty easy for me and so it's pretty fun man the thing that I've learned the most from becoming a tutor is that I forgot I forgot so much math like I'm somebody who whenever I had school like in high school I didn't learn anything I just knew what to like study for the or like not, I didn't even study that much I just knew, like, I knew the information I needed to know for tests, and after that, it was gone. I no longer had it in my brain. I expended that knowledge on a test, got a high grade, and got out. So, a lot of the stuff I just didn't remember. Also, how did you not open? I'm confused. But my students were really fun. I had the students that I just talked to the most, and so it's just like we were getting work done. We were also talking. It was a great time. Good stuff was happening. I felt bad because one of my students at the end, um, I was working with a student who had a test coming up like tomorrow or something. And this girl came in and she was with me. And so I was checking her homework, but then the guy behind me was asking questions. And so I would talk to him. I'd go help like check her homework a little bit more and help her with a question. And the guy would have more, like since he was higher level, he had more questions that took longer to explain. When I, she asked a question, it's very easy to like explain pretty quickly because there's not as much that I have to explain to her. So I felt bad because when she left, she kind of just got up and I'm like, oh yeah. Um, do you have any questions? Is there anything you need me to do with you? Cause like from probably like 70% of the time I was working with the guy just because like he needed some help with math. It's that simple. Okay. What are we going to have in here? Choco milk. I love chocolate milk. I don't think I'll ever take butt bombs because of the the clog incident that was one of the worst days of my bonding of Isaac career that made me so sad I don't even remember what Eden streak that was it wasn't that long ago but yeah I'm thinking about uh streaming um the new Harry Potter game when it comes out comes out I know it's such a random thing uh to stream and want to do but I was just thinking like there's like this new kind of these new videos I've been thinking about trying to do and trying to like slightly change the direction of my content just a little bit um and i kind of want to play the new game because it kind of goes uh hand in hand with what i want to do so i don't know I'll, I'll might i might stream it and play it i might just play it and then um record it and maybe make a video regarding like with it i don't know we'll see what happens i'm kind of excited i'm still gonna edit the the one uh, the one video i've been talking about forever once again i'm not gonna promise when it's gonna be released or when anything's gonna because i've not even worked on it um but things things are gonna i need to i'm gonna start working again soon i keep saying that but like it literally is just a factor of like at some point i want to go back to doing youtube like a lot more but i'm just so unmotivated and that's just it just goes with like mental health and all that it's just I don't wake up most days until like super late and then I once I get home from work it's already super late so I'm not gonna work on stuff I just wanna hang out with my friends and chill that's what I do man Play-Doh Cookie is really good when you have like high tier rate because it has so many different tier effects that are pretty strong and apply like extra damage it's still good with chocolate milk but it's a little underwhelming with chocolate milk I feel like oh my gosh why am I dumb I saw the the worm and I'm like I'm just gonna walk away not work as good as I thought okay I was hoping I could just one shot the boss with uh larynx hey where are DOS enemies Ooh. 
Good. Yeah, these last couple days, like, I've just done nothing. It was it was literally just building that computer and trying to get it like everything going. There's a lot of breaks that were had to be had and all this just because it can get frustrating when something is not going exactly right. You know, like when like a certain like a, you're trying to screw something in or plug something in and like you just can't get it to plug in or you can't get it to like slightly work. When she first turned the computer on, like her new keyboard wasn't working with it. It's a Keychron Q2, I think is what she got with brown switches um some people might be like why not the red switches the red switches weren't available and i actually very much like brown switches i would say red switches are probably better but brown switches are just as good honestly and no matter what unlubed and like unfilmed switches it doesn't really matter too much what you use because if you're ever going to want to make them better you're probably just going to get new ones because stock gaterons aren't that good some people might not even know what i'm talking about but yeah it's good but yeah for some reason like some keyboards like if i try to use my keyboard i'm pretty sure with my computer in bios it sometimes doesn't like it won't work because my with my keyboard at least i have a boop 65 keyboard um by who who's it by i can't remember kid i don't know i can't remember anyways for some reason you have to plug it in and the computer has to recognize it and like have the right software going or something for it to actually work so sometimes when i plug it in at first it doesn't work it's just an interesting time also i definitely don't want larynx but you know what i do want to do i want to insta kill this angel right here watch this we love and respect larynx larynx does so much damage it's actually wild we're gonna get out of here go to the next floor have a good time and be happy Okay, please have a good item. I'm really glad we got more options. It's really nice. I might as well take this. I The middle item would have been better. Getting a... Was that Taurus? I can't remember. Would have been nice. But I kind of like the idea of having just like the craziest mystery tiers. Each one of my tiers is just going to be like really, really random and weird. So, I'll take it. Now, this could be really bad with chocolate milk because if I get like a bad tier effect, I'm going to have... I'm going to be stuck shooting it for a couple seconds. Which can be bad, especially when you're shooting very slow and only have one tier at a time. We'll figure this out. And I can shoot faster. I know that. I know I was complaining, like saying like chocolate milk's not that good because I can't shoot as fast. I can still shoot faster chocolate milk. It's just, do I want to shoot fast as chocolate milk? I don't know. It's a lot of thumb speed. That's something I don't got. I got slow thumbs. Chronically slow thumbs. Okay, can you die? I know you guys both have like double the health as a usual enemy. And you guys have these stupid flies that keep blocking everything. What the heck? That fly was blocking every single attack. I know I didn't like change where I was shooting, but still. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that was going to hit me. I don't know. It doesn't even matter if I take damage. I have a lot of health. I need to not take damage, honestly, but I'll be fine. Oh my gosh. That was the craziest trick shot of my life. You guys thought I missed? No, I was just coming back to hit that brain. That's crazy. We do a lot of damage. If you guys don't know, a fully charged chocolate milk tier does 400% damage. Which is quite a good amount. And six flies in a curse room? You should have. That's so nice. Like the best possible outcome for that room. I'm being facetious. It's quite bad. Like, I feel like even getting troll bombs in that room would have been better than getting flies. At least they could have like blown up something in there right like done me some damage to like make me feel something health up oh my gosh maybe it was a devil deal run okay you know what was that worth yes overall i have more health oh my gosh guardian angel is going crazy why was that tier so weird i have like i have the occult for a second what just happened my shop nice Okay, let's. There we go. I love the frozen tears. They're so good. I'm not even touching magic skin. Thank you. I'll take buddy in a box because getting conjoined would be kind of nice. Blank card isn't the worst. Deck card isn't the worst. I just don't want an active item. I'm not going to pay for an active item. I'm not going to use. 
I do want a pretty fly. Pretty fly can be great. Especially with Guardian Angel. It's going to be really hard to get hit now by tears. You might be like, why are you re-rolling still? Listen, I can re-roll as many times as I want. Is this not a free country? Kuwa. A lot of people don't know. Um, and I don't know why people would know. But I think... I can't remember what it is. I think it's like the Marines or the Navy who say hoorah. And then there's there's the army who says hua. There's two different things that they say, which is very, very weird. Um, Cause you always like hear like hoorah, like being said in like movies and stuff with like fake military people in it. Stolen valor, first of all, but people are like, oh, army hoorah. Nope. Okay, let me use this. The thing is, they sound so similar. It's not like not like it even matters, but nice. Oh my gosh, I wish I had Death's Touch. Like, look how much damage that does. Nice. I really need a haircut. I've not gotten a haircut in a while. The last haircut I got was the one that I actually went and paid for, and it was not that good. And so I've just, I've just been letting my hair grow out so that the next time I do get a haircut, it's actually going to look decent because I don't know what, my hair was messed up. It was so whack. It was crazy. Just like, like every part of my hair was just like a different length and it didn't make any sense. A lot of my hair that was like way back here was like super short, but then I had a bunch of hair in the very front that was really long. And so it made me look like I had the world's thinnest bangs in the entire existence of the world. Now I kind of do have pretty thin bangs, but I don't want to have thin bangs. Can we have a crazy item out of here? Not crazy, but it'd be useful. Oh my gosh, I'm so itchy. You might, you might be wondering why I'm taking this trinket with me everywhere I go. First of all, why not? Look at the movement. Look at the movement. The dream is alive. What dream? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's alive. Okay. Okay, first of all, we destroy all these guys first. You know what? I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. We're not getting our full damage. Whoa, that didn't do that much damage to you. I'm scared, actually. What? Actually? There have been on a roller coaster before, and actually? I've never been on the news before, and actually? I'm excited for a roller coaster. Ooh, hello. Conjoined has been achieved. Era, era. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm so tired right now. I, um, yesterday I went to sleep at like 6 a.m. And then woke up at like 11, probably like 5 a.m. actually. And then woke up at like 11. And I know that's on me. I'm the one who like stayed up so late. It's because we were building the computer, but. It just, I, I, I was kind of tired that day. The day before I was also tired. And so I'm just like, like I'm, I'm not like, I don't know. I'm not like super sleepy tired. It's not like I'm like sleep deprived. Cause I've been getting like, not a super bad amount of sleep. You know, I've been getting like six hours of sleep a night, which is not terrible. It's not, nobody can function super well off of six hours of sleep. Anybody who says they can, that's just a lie. That's not how our bodies work. Um, but some people can function better on less sleep than others. That is true facts. And finally, our speed is above one. Hallelujah. Oh, I love rubber cement. Oh, thank you. Okay. I swear this guardian angel baby is weighting me down. I, like, I feel like whenever I'm walking. Oh my gosh. I feel like when I'm walking, he makes me go from side to side. I think it's because he's bigger than my body, so I keep on like fe feeling like my guy's moving around more than he is. More than they are. Um, let's open you, 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 and you. And look at that. A tier rate up is nice because it makes us go to 400% damage faster, which is very good. Now, one thing that's really cool is the way that Neptunus and um, Chocolate Milk work together is super unique because what happens is, is when you're, so Neptunus is a charge bar that charges up when you're not shooting. And when you hold down the shoot button, it decharges. So you stop shooting, it goes back up. The higher it's charged, the more tier rate you have. And so it's like Chocolate Milk, but with tier rate. 
Now, Chocolate Milk is whenever you're fully charged on a tier, it does more damage. So if you use it with Neptunus, you're always fully charged. So if you tap shoot, you're at 400% damage with like crazy, crazy tier rate. And it's really, really good. I think I'm going to go crazy and take this item. Now, Vasculitis is quite bad. It actually feel, it makes... I don't like it because it makes me confused with the tiers that are happening. Because like, as you see, there's a bunch of random red tiers that shoot out of enemies that look exactly like the tiers that those enemies were also shooting. So watch. You'll see that... Like, tears shoot out from enemies when they die. That's actually my, like, tears that I'm creating that are doing damage to other enemies. But you can't tell them apart from, the, like, the tears that are bouncing off of these guys, which makes it so it's like you never know what's going on. Which is unfortunate. That's why I just don't like them too much. It's not an item that I like to take. Like, look at that. Can you tell that those are vasculitis tears? And some smart Alec is going to be like, well, yeah, I can because... They're, they're, you're, they're coming from the enemy and you have the item. No, I don't care. I like It's hard to tell because they make sure that they're red for some reason. Also, where's the kill switch? Give it to me. There's no kill switch here? On God, no cap? Okay, that's fine. I do want to find the, the shot before I leave. That is a must for me. I'm kind of get a devil deal on this floor. Like This 9% chance devil deal is looking mighty appealing right this second. Oh my gosh, you're making me walk so far. Yeah, it's just been it's just been a long couple days. Just because I worked, computer, computer, work, and that's fine, but I'm home alone for the weekend. You know what that means. Party! So I'm gonna sleep as long as I humanly can, and it's gonna be quite fantastic, actually. Can I donate a lot of money, please? Like just let me donate every little cent I have. Oh my goodness gracious. And it gave me two luck. That's actually crazy. And that's not, that sounds like facetious, but it's not. I used to word facetious with my students today and they're like, stop using big words. I'm like, I don't even know what it really means. I just love using it. Cause it sounds like a sea fish. And that's exactly why I actually enjoy it. Hey, my dog will stop barking. It's like, I don't know what he's barking at. It's probably his own reflection. Do like dogs are pretty dumb when it comes to reflections. Animals are too, like all animals are. I don't know what it is. They just don't understand it. Like, just understand it, bro. You're fine. Watch this. We're going to wait for an eyeball to come down. Yeah. Yeah. Knock, knock. It's me. I'm here. Okay. We are going to go this way to go down to shield and see how this goes. I'm going to walk in here because why not? And we're going to go straight to the boss fight if possible. I'm just going to fast fast tap these. I have enough tier 8 to where I can like get 100% damage pretty easily while tapping pretty quickly. I can tap about this fast and still get about regular damage. Worm room, worm room. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, that's more than just a worm. That's a pin room. Yeah, one thing I don't like about chocolate milk is... Because I can't literally frame perfect, always release my tears with it, I am never actually having that good of damage output. I'd have better damage output with like regular damage and like regular tier rate, I feel like. But it is nice because you can like snipe enemies. It's more maneuverable. Like if you're good with where you, how you shoot, you can move around a little bit easier and not have to worry about shooting at every like every two seconds. There's there's some good things about it. I know. That was dumb, right? But you're all thinking, listen, I was just trying to have some fun and go fast. Okay, can you stop, please? Okay, thank you. It's boss fight time. Please don't have an enemy in here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is this a spider hand? Creepy spider hand. Oh, it's not a creepy spider hand. It's regular hands. Weird. Okay. Um, Is there a secret room right here? If there is, I'm going to be very happy. There's not. So you know what? I'm going to come in here. Oh! Nice. Okay, angel deal equals happy me. Okay, we have this. Nice. And I can't really do much. Well, this has been a great time. I'm going to go find the secret room. Hopefully there's something good in it. Nice. I guess we're like, what the heck? You almost made the same mistake again. Let me tell you, that wasn't a mistake the first time. 
Don't don't ever think it was. That was me trying to go speedy and just didn't go well. That's a, there's a difference between that and mistake though. I don't make mistakes. I am a mistake. Okay. Oh my gosh, this room scares me so much. And we're out of here. There's no reason for me to do much else. I'm really happy I have compass at least because the compass lets me go straight to the boss fight. I am a little concerned. My health is not super good. And I don't have that much money. And the thing is, if I if I am not lucky. I'll have only devil deals that cost money, and I won't actually be able to get stronger. Oh my gosh. Can you come back over here? What the heck? There's a chocolate bar. I like how skinny he is. I've seen the chocolate bar before, but it's still crazy. Um, What are you? You're a regular chest? Oh my gosh. This is a crazy setup for this floor. It's going to be down to the right and straight up, probably. I'm just checking everything. Well. Nice. I'm just going to start using Larynx a little bit more because again, Satan is not going to be super, super useful. Also, that's a good amount of money. I'm actually glad we got that. Like, it's still going to be useful against uh, Satan. The only issue is that with Satan, since he has three phases, I can only, like, guaranteed kill one of the phases. And what did I... Oh, I was like, I needed to use health or something. I wanted to come in here. Soul Heart is actually not exactly what I want from this. I mean, it's, I need health. Health is good, but I, I'm not going to be able to maximize the amount of health I got on this floor because I want to take the, both these red hearts and be full health, and it's a whole thing. And look at that. You can't tell my tears oh, oh, apart from these stupid tears. I can't tell if it's champion tears or what's happening. If anybody disagrees, I'm sorry. Your opinion, invalid. I have spoken. Oh my gosh, I am just dumb. Oh my gosh, was that just the most crazy wombo combo you any of us have ever seen? Every shakes their head yes, every shakes their head yes, because it was. It was crazy, it was great. I just can't tell. You know what? We do, we do the barrage style attack. Get out of here. We have a lot of range. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the best secret room find I've ever had. No, oh. no, I should have done that. Come on. Okay, now I have to re-kill these worms. Cause there's stupid flies in this room as well that really throw you off because it's like, oh, I killed everything. Nope. There's just flies over here that are feared and just can't move to you. Have fun with that. Are we? Just, this is a weird run. It's not great. It's not bad. I mean, it's definitely not great. That's what it isn't. You know what? Do I just? What do I do here? Do I take Keeper's Bargain or not? So if I get really lucky with Keeper's Bargain, it's actually a really bad thing. One, Mississippi two, Mississippi three, Mississippi four. No, I messed up and I lost health. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we need to take Keeper's Bargain. I've decided. I'm gonna insta-kill the foot with the larynx, I'm guessing, is not my guess. This is what I wanna do. There we go. I just want to one shot the foot, please. There we go. Larynx is sick. Also, the larynx kind of sounds like Mega Seed. I probably should have gone and paid out the, the Devil Beggar, but that works. And let's see how much money we will have to spend on this floor. Oh my gosh, did I just get incredibly lucky? Okay, this I do not like this familiar. Can this guy die, please? Okay. We lost conjoined, which I expected after making such a sacrifice. I'm gonna take Lusty Blood. I don't know if I'm gonna do Um I don't know if I'm gonna do Mega Satan. I'm kind of very concerned about this. Like, I'll be fine if I go Mega Satan. Yeah. I just wanna see if I get some crazy item from sacrificial altar i knew i was gonna lose conjoined but it's worth it in my mind we did we actually lost our two lesser valuable guys we lost buddy in a box and wait what else did we have i can't actually remember i have pretty bad memory all of a sudden okay oh my gosh that dodge wait was that me dodging or was that my t I st okay that was actually me dodging a little bit on accident of course okay you know what Okay, you know what? Funny, funny, funny playtime is over. 
I'm sick of this. Okay, we're trying to charge as much as we can. You guys are cruel and unusual, honestly. Can't believe you guys. And I feel like this is where the run is going to halt. As long as I beat it. You know, I do have to beat this first. I've not fought Lamb in a second. And Lamb is actually a decently hard boss if you don't have a lot of health or damage. Now, luckily, I have a decent amount of both health and damage. I'm not, like, out of luck or anything, but it is still concerning. I don't know. It's always... Everything's scary in the Eden Streak. But that right there is going to be the run. I know you guys probably want me to go do Mega Satan, but I don't really feel like it. So that right there is win number 323 in a row. If you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. My hair is looking dumb. It's a little bit better right there. Thank you guys for watching. As always, it's been Preets. Peace out. Leave a like and bye.